Hello guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. Today, we have a special guest for you guys. We have one of our medical providers, Shanil. Hello everyone, and uh, thank you so much for having me here. It's an honor to be here with you today. You're welcome. So Shanil, we want to bring you on here. So what exactly is your background and what do you do for Titan Medical Center? Yep, excellent. So I'm an advanced practice registered nurse. Um, I've been in the medical field as a nurse for 10 years, and I have been an advanced practice registered nurse for the past four years. So what that means is I started out as a nurse, I went back to graduate school, um, which then gave me the background that I needed to be able to diagnose, treat, and care for patients at an upper level um, scale. So I do work very closely with doctors and other medical providers to provide adequate care to patients. And at Titan Medical, we um, center our focus around balancing hormones, um, optimizing overall health, wellness goals, and really just getting to the root of some of those problems that patients have. Um, and in, addi in addition to that, we have a vitamin and amino acid therapies, medical weight loss, detox and rejuvenation, mm -hmm. and a whole plethora of different um, therapies to help patients achieve their goals. Wow, that sounds <laughs> awesome. So we've, we've pretty much helped every patient achieve their goal of what they're really looking for. And I think that's the big thing, right? Now, can you tell us a little bit about how hormone imbalances can affect people mentally, physically, just on the day-to-day -day basis for them? Hormones are a very important part of the body. They um, relate to and send messages to many different organs in the body that tell those organs how to respond in different ways and when to respond and what actions to promote within the body. So if one of those hormones is not signaling properly or isn't being sent properly by one of those um, endocrine uh, glands, mm -hmm. it's going to disrupt a lot of different functions in the body, which will then be determined based on the organ that is being affected by that. So say it's um, your estrogen levels, your testosterone levels, whatever the case may be, that can cause different fluctuations, which can then cause different symptoms, such as low libido, energy levels, poor sleep quality, decreased mental focus and concentration, um, can also cause water retention, difficulty in weight loss, uh, all kinds of different things, and that's just to name a few. So it's really important to keep those levels balanced um, to really just optimize your health. And not only that, keep some of those other hormones balanced as well. Sounds super important for somebody to really check after and look for. So Chanel, how can bringing back some of these hormones or optimizing some of these hormones really help patients, males and females? It's a great question. So when you are rebalancing these hormones, um, it can certainly help alleviate a lot of these symptoms that the patients are experiencing, um, which can of course improve energy levels, their libido, sometimes even their relationships because that can be causing quite a disruption in that aspect of their life. Um, you know, we have had several patients that do come back to us and say, you saved my marriage because, you know, my wife wasn't happy, I wasn't happy, whatever the case may be, which is unfortunate, um, especially when it was something that was out of their control in that aspect. So by balancing hormones, you're not only improving just overall symptoms that the patient's experiencing, but sometimes the most important things in their day-to-day -day life as well. So it's really important to make sure you're looking at the whole picture and not just the labs or you know whatever the case may be yeah that's awesome so i mean it sounds like this is really going to help somebody in their day-to-day -day life um, some of these things that they might not even know that they'd be, be experiencing like these symptoms and stuff like that and just chalk it up to maybe i didn't sleep enough last night maybe i'm not eating correctly or something else is going wrong or i'm just like this you know they really don't know what it is can you tell us a little bit about why lab testing is so important and then maybe a few tests that, you know, hormones and things like that that should be ran that maybe PCPs and regular doctors don't usually run at their regular checkups? Absolutely. So um, looking at the whole picture of hormones is very important and that's not something that you want to guess on because as we kind of said earlier, depending on what type of organ system is involved can merit many, merit many different symptoms that are associated um, with that organ structure. And sometimes the symptoms can be very similar between the two. So if you're not adequately checking and looking to see what needs to be replaced or balanced, you can be correcting the wrong thing. Um, which is often, as an example, what you see when people try and correct their own testosterone levels or estrogen levels. 
um, and really it was an estrogen that was too low or too high and they just pound on more testosterone or mm -hmm. whatever the case may be um, and then they end up doing more harm than good and in that regard even then shutting down the body's natural ability to produce that hormone um, and you ended up in a worse case than you were to begin with. Wow, I mean, so it's really a really balancing act of what you're doing and making sure that you're monitoring these things. And like Sharice said, some regular doctors, like some of the guys go in, and they usually get a checkup. They say, you know, you're healthy as a horse, right? You know, my doctors always say that. And I, you know, what does that mean? You know, is it my cholesterol is healthy as a horse? My liver, my kidneys are good. Um, but I, when I asked my general practitioner, this was 10 years ago, my general doctor, right? My primary care doctor, you know, about testosterone and stuff like that. He said, well, why do you want to check that? You know, well, I'm having some of these symptoms and well, you don't need that right now. Or they might just not know about it. So that's really cool that we're checking and you're really looking at some of these different tests that a lot of general practitioners or primary care doctors are not looking at. So that's really, really cool. Um, you know, so when a patient does come in, how much time do you usually spend with them? And why do you usually spend that time with them? What do you usually go over? I Absolutely. Guess? So I am one of those providers that absolutely thinks it's just extremely important to spend as much time with the patient as the patient needs. Mm -hmm. um, that's one of the benefits of working with Titan Medical is, you know, we're not trying to just flip patients. We're actually taking the time, spending the time um, to make sure we're answering all the questions, explaining exactly what the protocols are, why we are giving certain medications, so that there is no guessing about it. I want the patient to know that, you know, they're in good hands. We really genuinely care about their overall well-being and how they're doing on their regimens um, and making sure that everything's balanced appropriately, um, which is why follow-up is also extremely important um, and follow-through and just being available to the patient in between the next follow-up appointment via phone call, email, whatever the case may be, um, so that they have confidence in us taking care of them um, and themselves in doing their regimen. So um, typically I'll spend anywhere, depending on um, the type of appointment it is, of course. Uh, for new patients, usually anywhere between 20 to 45 minutes. Sometimes I've even gone up to an hour if the patient has a lot of questions that need wow. to be answered. Uh, because I do want to make sure that they're confident and they, they are feeling good about the regimen and what's being prescribed to them. Um, for follow-up appointments, generally it's a little bit less because I'd like to think I answered all the questions yep. up front. Um, and sometimes that can be anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes or so. Wow, so it's really important for the patient to know what's going on. Um, I think, that, you know, Chenille has went over the blood testing, what the patient's really gonna, you know, perceive when they come in as far as treatment wise, they're gonna know what the benefits are, the possible negative side effects, if there is any, and just overall what we're gonna do to benefit them. Um, so it's really, really cool. And a lot of times I know that you know, regular doctors or even primary care physicians or whoever it might be, even your specialists nowadays, I know that they don't really have the time to spend with the patients. So I know that you know that you think that's very, very important as well. Absolutely. And so do we. So if you're wanting to become a patient with Titan Medical Center and you need the special care, I think that we're here to help people. So we want people to call or text 727-389-3220 to be able to get the professional experience for our medical providers and our care, you're not only a patient with Titan Medical Center, but family. We think Absolutely. about it as family. So we want you to become part of the Titan Medical Center family and uh, that's it. And then maybe you'll get to meet Chenille as well and have the positive experience of working with her and letting her answer all your questions. So thank you, Chenille, for coming on. Thank you so we much. We appreciate everybody for tuning in. Pleasure's all mine, thank you.